Uh, I think I'm for this. Quit of the week! Quit of the week! Quit of the week! Oh, wait. That's the wrong thing. <laughs> also, why are we muted still? Why are we muted uh, still? Why can't I hear that? I'm going to keep that in the clip. This okay. is when I clip it out. Just letting you know. We're not going to be able to hear the backlog. Oh, no. Backlog! No, backlog! 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 backlog. 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 <laughs> Nailed it. Now remind me to fix that later. <laughs> uh, hey guys, welcome to the backlog. Uh, Will, what is the backlog? The backlog is a segment of the Wolf Den podcast where we go through our video game collection. Every game we've ever bought, we put into a little Excel spreadsheet. Today we're going to pick one at random and talk about it, regardless of whether or not we've played it. And what's 972 the games, Bobby. And we're looking at number 453. 453. And that is Left 4 Dead 2 for the PC. Interesting. Okay. Yes. For the PC? Yes. I can tell you exactly why uh, we got it on the PC. Okay. We both bought copies. This is way back in the day. We were going, we were, it was on a family vacation. We were on a plane. We, were, we knew we were going to fly. And we both got Left 4 Dead for our respective MacBooks because that's when, oh. that's when uh, Valve first came to Mac. That's when Steam first came to Mac. So we're like, oh, we'll both get Left 4 Dead and we'll wire up our laptops on the plane so we can play Left 4 Dead 2 on the plane. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> what, do we think we were going to land? Yeah. Yeah, how would we have done that? We would have no needed... Uh, I don't think you can peer-to-peer. -peer. No. So we would have needed, like, a, a router. router. Yeah, no, we just... <laughs> I think we literally just, like, plugged in an Ethernet cable into our computers. And, and can you even host in the game i have i without like a server i don't think so we, moral of the story was we could not get it to work yeah underscore says would have needed a crossover cable or router back then yeah yeah uh wow what a what a mess up <laughs> so we actually got it on mac then yes i also had it on xbox 360 i know i'm thinking of the xbox 360 version i remember playing the xbox 360 yeah. version did i need people do i not have version it's not on the we list. definitely have the xbox we definitely do i think that's where i played it the most yeah obviously we're counting both right right yeah, yeah. no they're, they're the both. same yeah uh it's great that it was available on mac though yeah um i mean to be clear left for dead too a very good game <laughs> very good game uh unfortunately uh we haven't seen anything from it after this um and it did get copied into oblivion yes uh but like like almost to a t the formula exactly so it got copied into oblivion like many years after its yeah, peak which there is was the strangest nothing. thing there was nothing from left for dead 2 for a really long time yeah so, so left for dead uh is just a four player zombie i don't want to say horde mode because you have no. to get from point a to point b yeah Every level is get from point A to point B, and, and you got uh, the hordes of zombies in the way yes. of your uh, point A to point B. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's four players. It's They're NPCs if you don't fill the party, right? Correct. Or, or yeah. are they just yeah, not no, there? It, They're NPCs, yeah. Okay, and there's four different characters, so each person plays a character. The characters mm -hmm. don't have any special abilities or No, anything. they have different personalities, but like yeah. that doesn't affect gameplay at all. Yeah, so... It's pretty bare bones. There's only a uh, few types of zombies. You have the regular zombies. Then you have the boomer guys, the ones yes. who are giant and explode. And then you have like the witch. Yes. Who screams and is really fast and really strong. Mm -hmm. And that's it, right? Yeah. There's yeah, like, I believe so. Yeah, no, no. There's the boomer, the hunter, the smoker, the tank, and the witch. Oh, okay. Uh, also, uh, three new... No, there's a lot more. There's also the charger, the spitter, and the jockey. Oh. That's a lot more than I thought. Yeah. Maybe I only played Left 4 Dead 1. <laughs> <laughs> well, Left 4 Dead 2 was the one that introduced uh, melee combat to it. Okay. So you could pick up like melee weapons like you saw in the video, the crowbar, uh, swords, axes, okay. you know, anything you can get your hands on to try and fight through the zombie horde. Yeah. You're really just uh, shooting through hordes of zombies. Yeah. Uh, it, there's really not a lot to the game. No, it's really just, you know... You have your team. You have to try to get from safe house to safe house um, until you get to the end of the level. 
Uh, the big thing with this game, though, was the AI director. He was like, they basically gave a name to the uh, artificial intelligence programming of the zombies. They did that in the first game, but um, the second game they had AI director 2.0. It, uh, according to Wikipedia, the artificial intelligence system uh, drives gameplay by procedurally spawning enemies, weapons, and items based on players' performance at any given campaign. Uh, in Left 4 Dead 2, the director has... Uh, been improved to encourage more participation by players, forcing players through difficult gauntlets to reach safety. It also has the ability to alter elements of the level, such as the placement of walls, level layouts, lighting, and weather conditions, making each play session unique. It, I think the big draw to the game was just uh, the gameplay loop was fun. Just shooting yeah. stuff was fun. Yeah. There wasn't a lot to it. Yeah, uh, it didn't feel like there were a lot of different zombie types. You really, I mean, the whole time you're just shooting the same sort of yeah. I mean, low level zombie the whole it's time. It's very chaotic. So like when you and three friends, it becomes very like, chaotic yeah. because there are a doesn't lot matter, of zombies. Like, what type of zombie you're attacking? You just know to stop the zombie. It also doesn't feel like there's a lot of different weapon types, right? Right. Uh, but yes, you could also pick up your friends and stuff. Like yeah. if they if they fall if, if if they get hurt too much and whatever. Um. I think people just really liked playing with their friends. This was a great mindless multiplayer game to play with other people. Yeah. Uh, this got copied into Oblivion. I, I, well, people were missing Left 4 Dead 2 for a long time. And then, what, like five, six years after this game came out? Yeah. Some clones started to come out. And mm -hmm. the clones copied the formula to a T. Yeah. With the zombie types. With uh, the four players, with the get from point A to point B. Yeah. Uh, all of that stuff. Uh, and none of them were that great. None mm. of them really captured the the charm of Left 4 Dead. Also, I think that maybe they were a little outdated. Like, like yeah. Uh, they didn't innovate on the idea at all. Like, if there was a Left 4 Dead, if there was a Left 4 Dead 3 right now, mm -hmm. it would do some things a little different. It wouldn't just be this exact formula. It would yeah. be, like, a little bit different. Uh, and they didn't capture that. I think what is kind of satiating people is Call of Duty Zombies. Call of yeah. Duty Zombies. Uh, That's actually a very similar, kind of similar formula. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, people love that. Yeah. So I think that's what people have sort of moved on to mm -hmm. now. Um, but no, this was like the mindless multiplayer game. I PC do. And Xbox. I'm looking at the Wikipedia page for it, and I do actually remember there was. A controversy when this game came out because left 4 dead one came out in 2008 and this game came out a year later and people oh. were like upset that like val was no longer supporting left 4 dead one they were going to move all resources left 4 dead two so it was a big boycott of left 4 dead two that'll that, show them that guess is a what, little quick guess what happened everybody started playing left 4 dead two and, and they this started, is way more popular yeah <laughs> and they started moving like the characters and like the levels from left 4 dead one over to left 4 dead two yeah. So just go over to the new game and play that. Valve has gotten worse with that. Uh yes. with Counter Strike Two or, mm -hmm. or or CS Go Two. Yeah. Uh they just straight up replaced the old game. Right. You can't even play the old game anymore. You have to play the new version. Which broke Mac support because yeah. CS Go Two is not on Mac. So if you had CS Go on Mac uh, you just can't play it anymore, right? Because it's been replaced. So apparently, we have this for both Steam and Xbox. Yes, very interesting. I have to. I, I, you know, next time we go to our parents' house, I gotta check the archives because we definitely have. We it. definitely have for it, sure. Have like, it. Why is it not on the list? I would recommend playing this game. Yes, uh, but only play it if you're gonna play with other people. Yes, it's uh, definitely a multiplayer. Do not game. play this by yourself. It actually sucks by yourself it's just boring yeah i played it by myself a little bit and mm -hmm. it's fine but it's boring it, yeah. playing with other people is fun it's chaotic it's it, it, it's cool yeah it's, it's it's good if you're a fan of call of duty zombies maybe don't play this i don't know if you're gonna like it yeah but uh if you're interested in left for dead 2 and you've never played it before give it a try thanks for watching the backlog uh come to a podcast see you later bye bye